And hey, it's Diego with AMC Develop. Today I'm talking about the Reto 3D Pro application. I had made a video talking about the Reto 3D camera as it was a Kickstarter campaign. And now that the camera's released and the application is available, I wanted to make a nice in-depth video talking about some of the features and what to look out for. If you're like myself and actually didn't back the campaign, the application is $4.99 on iOS only. They do believe they're going to make an Android app eventually, but so far that's all that's available at the time of this recording. One of the cool things about the Pro app is it does give you the option to use four lens cameras. So Reto, although they do make the three lens camera, they are aware that other people use four lens cameras. So here I'm on Darkroom Lab um, uploading some of the scans that I have and I'm downloading all four of the images from left to right on the roll as they were taken. All right, so getting right into it. So just select them from first to last there. Um, one of the cool things is this tool is actually really powerful. So you do get the option to click on the point. So if you want to select the anchor, here I did the little rainbow stripe on the Polaroid camera. And on the next one, you can actually just swipe if the um, anchor point itself isn't too close. You can actually swipe and then move it. Um, one of the first things when I made the first wiggle gram was I thought I couldn't actually move the thing, but um, you can just swipe and move around and then get the anchor point just right. It's actually really, really good to get the anchor point just right exactly the same because you're going to get consistent results and a nice smooth wiggle gram image. So pretty much um, the more time you spend getting the little details right, the better your final image is going to be. As you can see here, that's the last one and then it does come with wiggle gram. So right there in order, you can move it around. Let's say you didn't get it right. Um, it's easier to do it off the bat in the camera roll and then just get it so you do it the other way because you can see that it does give you kind of a stutter step. The cool thing is that you can vary the film speed so you don't have to do it at full speed to edit them or see if you got the wiggle gram right itself. You can do it at half speed to make sure everything's seamless but once it looks seamless, you're pretty much good to go. Um, on editing, I just flip the, the rotate and there you go. Nice and up front how I wanted it. At the time of this recording, I do realize that the application was only out for a few hours or so, but the crop function was not working for me. Um, just a little input. I'm sure they're going to get it right because, you know, upfront things don't work as seamlessly. It's not going to work perfectly as soon as they release it, but at the moment of this recording, um, the crop function doesn't work, but I'm sure they're going to get it down to where it will work in the future. And as you can see there, I'm messing with some of the effects. So the zoom in one's a really cool effect actually, um, something I actually can't even do in Photoshop that seamlessly. But um, if you do add an effect to generating the image itself, it does take a little bit more time, but I feel like it's worth it. It's not gonna be a crazy amount of time, but it does take a little bit longer than just doing the regular wiggle gram. As you can see there, it's pretty much done. This got me thinking more than anything, wondering if I take four pictures on the same plane and then try to bring them into Reto 3D's Pro app. I was wondering if I could also make a wiggle gram. And sure enough, you actually can. Once you get the four images and then you line them up, you can pretty much get, um, this was kind of a crude attempt at doing it. I just wanted to make it really quick just to see if it was possible. And sure enough it is, but I'm sure if you spend your time or you know do it a little bit more seamlessly, you can get much better effects. Pretty much the effect that you get off of doing this, you can get with the application Film 3D. It's another review that I've made on my channel. You can check it out, check out tons of other videos that I have on applications, but it does the same effect where it gets the four images and makes it seamless on an application, nice and polished, so you don't have to do any editing or anything. Um, here you can see me playing with the effects, which I feel like are actually worthwhile. The zoom feature is a really cool one that I feel like um, should be explored a bit more because it's pretty neat. Overall, this application gets two thumbs up for me. One of the things that I really like off of this application is one, how actually intuitive and seamless uh, making the wiggle grams is on, I wanna say it's actually more of a hassle to do it on Photoshop than it is to actually do it on this app, which is really good. That's actually a really good thing to say that the mobile version is better than the Photoshop or the desktop version. Another thing that I really like is the fact that they did allow for four lens cameras, the Nimslo and Nishika, they didn't just tailor this application to their three lens cameras for their own product. They made it more for the community, which with me gets really high results up in ranking. It's so cool that they did that. And lastly, I do actually like the effects. Um, very rarely do I like presets on effects. I'm kind of a purist when it comes to the wiggle grams, but the zoom um, feature does give it another layer of depth to add to the wiggle gram. 
that I couldn't do previously, again, on, on desktop with just Photoshop. So yeah, really cool. I really like the application. Um, it gets five stars from me. I'm gonna leave a really thorough review so other people can get into it and kind of join into the community. So if you're willing to pay the $4.99 for the application and get the four lenses, I recommend it. If you want to wait for the free application to come out in a few weeks, that's okay too. I'm sure they'll do a good job. I do know that you can't remove the watermark, but even then, it's not that big of a deal. I wouldn't mind having the watermarked images if it was just a free application. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I have tons of other videos talking about either film cameras or effects that mimic film cameras, just like this one. And yeah, um, if you don't follow my Instagram, it's aim should develop just like the YouTube channel. I post a lot of the content that I make on there, a lot of the cool stuff that um, doesn't usually make it to YouTube, a lot of the little in-between things, whether it's images or cameras. So yeah, um, keep doing what you're doing. Keep shooting film. Peace.